Hey guys, this is Squelchstone from LockPicking101.com forums and tonight I'm going to do a quick video showing how to change the default combination on a Sergeant Greenleaf 8077 padlock. Uh, the default is 25 and we're going to change it to 10, 20, 30. Uh, let's begin. First thing you want to do is open the padlock and we're going to dial 25 four times to the left what that means is you start off at any random point on the dial you find 25 let me see if I can focus in here better for you guys alright so there's 25 first time 25 second time 25 a third time and we have to stop right on it exactly on it the fourth time around 25 and that's aligned all the gates inside and now in order to open the padlock we have to move the dial back to zero so that the shackle can be pulled up and that's that's that really it's not that hard um, next step to actually get to the change keyhole so we can change the combo is to remove this thick metal plate um, it's secured in here with a screw and it won't slide out if the screw is in the way so we're gonna turn the screw and let it go into where the shackle used to be you can slide the plate out. And now you're thinking, oh, well, I'm going to insert the change key. Well, you can't. There's a metal plate blocking it. And the metal plate, you think you can just turn this and open it. Um, it won't move if the lock is dialed to the change index. It'll only, I'm sorry, to the opening index. This will only turn if the lock is dialed to the change index. And we'll explain that in a second. So uh, first we need to lock the lock back up. And we can't do that with this screw in the way, so we have to back this out all the way. And then close the padlock. Now we're going to dial it to the change index, which is at 11 o'clock. We're going to dial, dial the same thing, dial the exact combination. So we're going to find 25 again and dial it once, and then go all the way around second time a third time and stop on it the fourth time around and I went a little too far so I'm actually gonna dial a couple more times all the wheels are already picked up it doesn't matter how many times I turn it um, on the first number of the combination you can do that 20 times it doesn't matter um, so we're gonna go back to it and we want to make sure it's exactly the 25 right there and then I'll turn back to zero and now if you flip the padlock over try to focus in for you guys you can see that this little door can now open and now we can insert the change key so at this point you insert the change key turn it 90 degrees to the right you hear a bit of a pressure relief uh, when the wheels open up inside to accept a new combination. And then I recommend holding the padlock into the chrome body, otherwise it likes to flop around. You want to make sure that the dial is not sunken in like this. It's flush. It's much easier to see what you're doing. So we're going to dial a new combination to the change index, not the opening one. So we're going to go with 10 first time. 10 a second time, 10 a third time, and we're going to stop on 10 exactly the fourth time around. Now we change direction, and we're going to dial 20, the second number. We're going to dial that once, twice, and we're going to stop on 20 the third time around. Now we're going to change direction again and dial 30, the last number. We pass it once already here. It happens very quickly. And then we're going to stop on it the second time around at 30. Now we dial the lock back to zero. Turn it over. And we're going to reset the wrench and remove it. And now before we do anything, especially locking up this door, we're going to test this to make sure it actually opens. 
So now we're going to dial it to the opening index at 12 o'clock. And I'm going to pick up all the wheels, go 10 once, 10 twice, 10 a third time, and 10 a fourth time around. Now we're going to reverse direction, dial 20 one time, 20 a second time, and stop on 20 the third time around. Now we reverse direction and go to 30 once, and we're going to stop on 30 the second time around. Now we dial back to zero, and we can pull on the shackle the lock opens. So um, at this point you can put this screw back into the where the shackle hole is. And we can choose to leave this open if you don't care about security, if this is just for fun. Or you can dial it to the change index again, lock this door, and then dial it to the opening index, open it again, put this screw in, once that door is locked, put this plate back in, back this screw out so the shackle can lock back in again. And now the padlock is ready for use. There you go. Hope this helps you guys out. See ya.